Okay. Well, I did a little minor changes. We got some little updates on on the Dell Dimension L XPS T500. You may notice it's right here. So far, this machine used to be running Windows 2000, and a YouTube user that wanted me to do a video of Windows XP running on that e machine. Sorry, I couldn't do it. But it was for the user Dell 0304. But Dell 304, you like Dell computers, right? So I decided to do it on this computer. Because it, it was my mom's old computer. I fixed it up. Go ahead and power it on. It's not running Windows 2000. It's not running 98. But it's running Windows XP. Professional. Service Pack 3. And yes, this computer could be a little sluggish, so I did the best I could to make it a little fast. Yes, this computer still got 256 megabytes of RAM, and it has a Pentium 3 processor. But this computer will get the job done, though. Notice the Windows XP splash. Yeah, that booted quick. That was quick. Yes, I was standing up. Trying to make this computer more reliable. That's what I was trying to do. Because in case of that Dell and Tehran 531 goes out, we could use this as a backup. Yeah, let's try to sit down. I don't have a chair with me. You may notice the fonts are a little choppy because I disabled the visual effects. And I did a little tweaking in the registry to make it faster. And I watched this YouTube video some U two YouTube videos. Then I'm going to post a link in the description to them. So you guys can look at them. You know, I got the camera charging. Yep, that's the zoom wallpaper. I put... It does have the zoom thing. I installed XP on it last night, like around the evening time. It should come up. I still hear a hard drive going. Oh, I'm gonna try to sit down a little bit while it loads up. Yeah, and I see a little hourglasses. The setting of everything. Sit on this couch a little and wait for it. Oh, there we go. If everything's loaded. It's all good. There's everything on the I don't really use much of the icons on the desktop. Here's everything I put in a quick launch. I got Oslog Logix Disk Defrag, C Cleaner, Internet Explorer 8, Mozilla Firefox 3.6.10, Show Desktop, Windows Media Player 11. And right here we got the volume, it's not connected, and a Vera antivirus. It's pretty useful though. Seeing when there's, there's not much of programs on it. And yes, let me show you show you proof it's service pack three. Oh there it is. 
see Microsoft Windows XP Service Pack 3 256 megabytes of RAM 498 megahertz yeah, it does get the job done <laughs> I thought it was going to be slower and I found a helpful video but I'm not by a computer with the internet and I don't have it connected so I don't want to connect it see how some see what I could try and find some that's useful that we can play around with yeah I'm taking my time a little bit play a little solitaire yep you notice in Windows XP it's revamped I do have a Royale theme installed But I like the zoom theme to make it look more cooler. So, just to show you some Windows XP for you. See how quick? You notice I got Office 2007 installed on this. This thing also got Movie Maker. I'm just getting sitting down so I may go far back there we go see look it opens up no problem but but you can't read documents with Microsoft with the narrator I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, it loads up pretty good. At least it gets the job done. This old machine does everything. Yep, so we're gonna go ahead and shut it down. It's enough to show you how Windows XP runs. I got it fully running, so I'm going to see you guys later. See how long it boot, how it boot shuts down. There we go. I don't want to run, run out of time. You know, it goes to 15 minutes. Be sure to upload this. Before, before it becomes too late of the day because I've been busy with other things so